evening, everybody. Welcome to the Epicurean. I am Nicole Campo. I am the author of Secrets of My Food Affair, a gluten-free romance. And I am here tonight to cook you an indulgent gluten-free dinner. Come on into the kitchen with me and let's have some fun and enjoy. First recipe that we're gonna begin with today is my roasted tomato soup. So we're gonna start off with plum tomatoes, also known as Roma tomatoes. And along with that, you're going to chop up some carrots, onions, red pepper, and you're gonna roast a bulb of garlic. This is gonna give it that nice, sweet, garlicky flavor. All right, so after we have roasted off all of our vegetables here, we are just going to put them into our food processor. This recipe was based off of what I used to have as a child, tomato soup growing up. My grandmother made this all the time. I'm going to make some gluten-free croutons here. So what I'm gonna have Wayne do is smother two sides of our bread with mayonnaise. This is going to give it a nice golden brown color and it's also gonna taste delicious. What doesn't taste delicious without mayonnaise? <laughs> Go ahead and put some mozzarella down on one piece, please. This is the micro basil. Well, when I was diagnosed about seven and a half years ago now, there wasn't anything out there, as you all know. So when I wrote this book, this is all based on the fact of I couldn't find anything, so if I wanted it, I had to make it, right? You know, I grew up with a passion for cooking, and I am a self-taught chef, and I just love making people happy and feeling, you know, at home with my cooking. So I hope everybody enjoys it tonight. And there we go, this is our first course, ladies and gentlemen, roasted tomato soup with our gluten-free grilled cheese croutons. And I feel that every cook in the kitchen should always have a glass of vino somewhere, right? Next course, take one pound russet potato, put a little bit of olive oil on the skin, rub it down, and put a little bit of salt, just so that you get some flavor in there. And then when they are slightly cooled off, you're gonna wanna cut it in half, and you're going to take out the middle of the potato. Once we have all of our potatoes in here, we're gonna add a little bit of my gluten-free flour mix. Now this is one that I have come up on my own. It is in my cookbook and we're gonna use about a cup. And then what you're gonna do is just mix this into a dough consistency. Very important whenever you're making gnocchi or any type of pasta, you wanna make sure you flour your board just so that nothing sticks. And then we're gonna cut them into one inch pieces. You're doing so good. Look at this, it's a pro. Take the gnocchi, put it on the back tines of the fork, and you're just gonna roll down. Now these are a little bit delicate, but this is what you want. You want the ridges on the gnocchi. All right, and we're rolling. I am going to show you the sauce that we will be having with these gnocchi this evening. Since these take about two minutes to cook, the sauce takes about two minutes. What we're gonna do is take one stick of butter. Now I told you it was gonna be indulgent this evening, not fat free. <laughs> gonna go over medium heat. When you start smelling the nuttiness, you kinda of wanna stand over it, because if your butter is a little too cold, it'll take a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and put in our peas and carrots. Now be careful, yes, these are thawed, but they still have a little bit of water in them. This will spatter at you, so make sure the kids are away. <clears throat> make sure you're away. And last but not least, a generous helping of Parmesan cheese on top. A little bit of more herbs to Provence. And there you go, you have a great weeknight meal. Hope you enjoy. So if you don't like chocolate, I'm going to convert you because this is a Kahlua brownie trifle. Brownies, chocolate pudding, toffee bars, and whipped cream, and we're gonna build this into a trifle. And I'm telling you, it is the most delicious thing you've ever tasted. We'll get a little bit of the chocolate pudding, put it right on top. We're gonna take a couple pieces of our toffee bits. All right, so this is our first layer. So see, you're gonna see the brownie in Kahlua, you're gonna see a little bit of the toffee bits sticking out. And then you're just gonna wanna take a couple more pieces of your Coffee, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is your brownie Kahlua trifle. All three of these recipes are in my cookbook. You can find them in Secrets of My Food Affair, Gluten-Free Romance. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for coming out. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed myself immensely having you in the kitchen. Thank you.